everybody and welcome to a brand new YouTube video. I hope you're having a gorgeous day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. I'm tired. I have been awake since five and it's now seven. I woke up, washed my hair straight away, had a cup of tea, have got ready and I have packed because I am off on a very, very special trip for the next couple of days. I am taking my mum to London for a few days. You guys are going to be coming with us. And I think this is my favourite part about YouTube is capturing these memories online and being able to hold them forever. Um, Mum and I have done many a trip in the past, we've been to Bali, there's two Bali vlogs actually, I think actually there's three Bali vlogs on my channel somewhere with my mum, and it's a vlog that I always go back and watch, even though it's years ago, my editing wasn't the best back in the day, they're memories that are there and online for us to be able to cherish and look back at forever, so I'm really really excited, we're going to be staying at my favourite hotel of course, which is the other house in South Kensington, so 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 grateful to them for allowing us to stay for the next couple of days, and I've also got a very special unboxing to share with you. And it was supposed to be a two-part unboxing, but they both arrived at different times. The first one has arrived and it's by the side of me now. And I don't know whether to do it sort of together and show you both when the second arrives. The second, annoyingly, is arriving in an hour's time though, and I am leaving my house in 10 minutes, so I'm gonna miss the delivery, which is so sad because it would be perfect for this trip. So I think when I get back on Thursday, I will unbox and show you both together because it's something that I actually really want to talk about because it's something that I've never done before. So far with part one of the delivery, touching wood has been so perfect. So we definitely need to do it together because I very rarely buy anything sort of super luxury um, and I've and I've really pushed the boat out this month and I bought two things. And they're the kind of purchases that you see and you immediately want but immediately think they're out of your reach, out of your sort of price range as such and super unachievable. The way I've done it not at all and it's actually a sustainable way and also helping the planet and also really helping on the bank account and however much these purchases seem like they look really unachievable actually they're achievable so i'm really excited to show you what i have bought i'm taking half of it with me so you may see glimpses of it and you may be able to sort of see what i'm going to be talking about throughout the rest of the video when i get home on thursday but that's for the end of the video for the beginning of the video we're off to london if you're new here hello my name is scarlett and i would be so grateful if you were to consider sticking around on my channel i post every sunday at 5 30 and if you could click the subscribe button i would be very grateful as well as hitting the like button if you did enjoy this video first stops of the day train to London, check into the other house, quick meeting at Boodles, Boodles to the Ritz for lunch. We'll talk all about that there as well because also I think, again, it seems like one of those incredibly luxury experiences, which it is, and it was one of my mum's bucket list things to do. Even in consideration to where I live, three course lunches, dinners, etc aren't too dissimilar to the price of the set menu so we'll talk about that as we go anyway um i'm currently in my outfit that i'm going to be wearing to the ritz but i think i want to travel comfortably so i've just like put this outfit together see what i'm looking like but in my opinion even in comfy clothes public transport is uncomfortable so being in a dress that i want to wear all day long it's just not going to be the one so i'm going to get into some gym clothes so i'm going to stop waffling because i do tend to waffle and i will see you guys on the train good morning but i haven't done my mascara yet oh do you want me to start it again when you have yeah yeah, yeah. You better find your makeup bag. She's come all this way. She's got so much luggage, and she's been unpacking and repacking on the train. And has now decided that she's left her makeup bag at home. This is a woman that can't go anywhere without her makeup. Well, I don't wear makeup every day normally. Only when I go out, and then it's, I'm not having a facelift. I'm not having both. I'm not having the I am not i am not having i do not know whatever normal people have done these days. Nothing. But I do have a lot of makeup. I don't have to wear it. 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 I don't have I don't care what anyone else thinks. You can get what I think. Can, you, can you all now see why I'm the number one waffler? See where I get it from. Because <laughs> I Is that what they say? Waffle. I'm a waffler, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a quick talking waffler though. I get told off for talking fast. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I can't understand half the time. But imagine leaving your makeup behind. <laughs> I don't understand. You know, the the what is the stuff that you wear? Foundation, isn't it? That's what I've left behind. Oh. I can't believe it. You can use mine. It'll be like a hundred times paler than yours. No, I, it's not the paleness. It's not that. That doesn't matter. It's the You thickness. don't like the natural look. <laughs> I don't want to look natural. You're not like Botox. I don't like Botox. I don't like. Well, I've never had it done, but I'm never going to have it done. Well, everybody, she's ready now. Already. Mascara done. Oh, lovely. Do you want to tell everybody about how you're going to start camping, but really just going to the garden? Well, what it is, I've been watching a lady on TikTok called Fiona who goes wild camping in Scotland 
and uh, I did buy my tent last year because I thought to myself that when it gets very hot, my house is on the top of a hill and it's so hot. And so and it's a bit of a sort of old bungalow and I think it gets really warm. So I decided to buy a tent last year, which I didn't use the tent because actually we didn't have a very nice summer, did we? And it didn't actually get very hot. But anyway, so I've been watching Fiona. So now she's got a jet boil. Well, I didn't buy a jet boil because they're like a hundred pounds and I might never actually get to this camping. So I bought this thing off Amazon and it was actually 45 pounds, I think. For what? So it's got like a mug with a bur burner underneath, you know, and they have a gospel. It's, 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 what was it in seconds? I took it to the sea. Why was what though? You've not told us what you're doing. I'm oh, making a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it, it boils it in seconds. I did it yesterday on the side of the beach. Wow. I, That's um, amazing. Yeah, I, I did it yesterday on the side of the beach. I made myself a cup of tea. We went to Kimbridge yesterday with the kayaks, me and my sister. And um, <laughs> I made a cup of tea That's on the very seashore nice. mm -hmm. with my new jet boil type things. That's quite good. I've bought a sleeping bag. I've bought a sleeping mat. Right. I got a tent. But regardless of all of this, pan. yeah. But regardless of all of this, yeah. you're only going out to the garden. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I've got a little tiny farm, so I'm going to the field. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to the field, but I don't fancy camping with other people, <laughs> strangers. So, and I can't go up to Scotland because so it's going quite to a sheep. long way to practice. So with you've my got lots of sheep, so just going to the sheep field. Yeah, I'm going to take the dogs. They're going to come camping with me, and um, the sheep. Yeah, to, to the field. Possibly a pony might end up in the tent with me as well. Maybe, Little hopefully Holly. not. Little Holly. Actually, and have you Holly's named Holly's Hole, Hole yet? No. Because no. everyone asks for the name update. No, but no name. Yeah, I'm taking my hair away. Because it's supposed to be like hair. Oh, oh, okay. Because it's um, taking my. I'll have it. <laughs> Don't need to see her. You've seen quite enough of her. Um, <laughs> it's my turn. Uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, camping. Don't know what to call the bowl. And um, doing a bit of tenting. And. Uh, that's what you're bored now, aren't you? With my, that's about my life really. It's a, it's a tent. I haven't got in it yet. I don't even know how to set it. However, I'm going to set the tent up. This is, you know, I don't know how this is going to happen, but I'll have to do it. Actually, I could do a blog, couldn't I, on me putting up my tent? I think that could be quite hysterical, actually. I think you just imagine it. I live on the top of a hill. It, if I ever did actually stay the night in it, you could just imagine it would like set a bit of a wind would blow up a bit. <laughs> I'd go taking you off across the field like Mary Poppins up in the air on my tent. Just imagine that. You can have it back now, Scarlett. Oh no. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh god. So how was the whole train experience, Mother? Well, it was easy. Yeah, you I enjoyed it? No, you do it again? Yeah. yeah? yeah it's definitely the best way of She's never been on the normal train to London before. I think I have. Have you actually? I think I have. When? Yeah. I can't remember. Hmm. I can't remember what I have. I feel like you first. haven't. Let <laughs> alone, no, no, I didn't have any breakfast actually. Yeah. But I can't remember yeah. when I've been on the train, but I, oh, I went to Bath. We've just checked into our hotel. We've had a quick change. I mean, this, I mean, this gorgeous dress from Goelia, but I'll show you a little bit better later on when we're not so zoomed in in the car. Mm -hmm. Mum's here. She's all ready. Looking gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Up. Can you speak? Or? Yes, I can speak. Yeah. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Nothing. Just <laughs> nodded. I'm in my effects of paper. But who gave you that? You yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we are in an Uber now. We've just left the hotel. We're going to have a quick stop off at Moodle's. I've got some jewellery to return and I need to have a quick catch up with them. And then after that, we are then off to the Ritz for London. 
Ritz and we've been to the Ritz a few times, haven't we? We have. Let's have a chat. Um, yeah, we've been to the Ritz a few times. It was always a mum's bucket list to have afternoon tea at the Ritz, and we went to what five years ago? It was before lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah, Which yeah. Was quite a while ago. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, a long time ago. A really long time ago, and we fell in love with it. And actually, to be fair, like even though it is expensive, you get quite a lot for the money, and the whole experience is wonderful. And at the time, it was sixty pounds, but it's sort of all inclusive. Like the second you finish a tray of sandwiches, another tray of sandwiches come out. Um, but since having the afternoon tea, we then found out about the lunch, lunch time is menu. Much nicer. It's so much nicer. But also, how much is it for a three course meal? It well, used to be seventy. It's, yeah, it's now. I think it's eighty three or eighty six pounds but the standard is amazing and I don't drink alcohol so I'll just have water so it's a luxury to have once in a while and the lunch really is beautiful. But also I was saying earlier you know in the area lots of lunches and lots of dinner places for three quarters are around the 80 Yeah they are anyway, and even so at home if you want to go somewhere nice I mean, it, yeah. it's not cheap for three courses and it is wonderful yeah and really the good expensive. thing about afternoon afternoon tea you have to it's hard to get in to book for lunch, for afternoon tea it's especially christmas time whereas lunch is it's quite easy you can book up and so it's cabin. not so full because this and, is quite a spontaneous trip we only booked about last week didn't we yeah it and it, it's really exceptional three i wish you put it a bit higher sorry unlike her i've got a double chin and um so it's it's beautiful it's beautiful it's my luxury to myself every now and again mm. is to take myself because i don't have okay. anybody else to take me i take myself lunch at the Ritz. It's and lovely. it's lovely, it's lovely. Yeah, and it the is food's lovely. amazing and you get lots of um, like canapes and entrees oh, and stuff oh, yes, as well yes. so it's, it's not three just courses three courses for eight, 80 yes but I mean you know enough bread and star, bits and finish. pieces yeah. to fill you up and and ev oh it's wonderful. Okay, it's it's so um, come along for the ride. <laughs> We're just here in the beautiful bathrooms. Look how stunning they are. Mum, say hi. We fit perfectly in the pink. <laughs> Gorgeous Liz and Boodles are saying how on brand we were with all the pink. Even Mum's handbag's pink, and then they've just given us a little pink carrier bag, and then my jewellery box is pink. They've given us the pink cap. I'm in pink. And I thought before we do head up for lunch and before I end up having a bit of a food baby, I would show you the dress a little bit better. It's absolutely beautiful. And actually for the design, for the tailoring, the quality of the dress and how timeless it is, it's actually a bargain. And I'm pretty sure my discount code will still be live and working. And if it is, it will be in the description box. But this dress is under hundred pounds. I think it's around the 80 pound mark and it's beautiful and I've been sort of sat in it for hours now and totally totally stunning it's also super comfortable I'm wearing a standard size 8 and there's still loads of room in here so it's perfectly fine to go for your normal size but I will leave I'm being vlogged as I'm being vlogged um, but I will leave all of the details in the description box for you and also wedges of course my trusty Holland Cooper ones super super comfortable as always and I will leave those in the description box as well but for now where are we going? We're heading for lunch. lunch. <laughs> <laughs>
everybody. This is the menu for the three courses. And I'm thinking I'm going to go smoked sea trout, followed by, I think, the fillet of beef, and then the souffle, because the souffle here is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Amazing. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, may I ask what brings you today at the way? A mum and daughter day. Ah, make it special then. Yes, thank you very much. Just, <laughs> we like to come here every now and again for lunch. I gave her the idea to go to one beauty counter and get a foundation sample. We have now been to every beauty counter. And I don't think I can look at another beauty shop ever again. This bag is full of samples. You're done? The girl could never have enough. Who could come up to London without their makeup but me? But most brands have given her like three samples to the so that she can test the colours and things. And I'm the one carrying all of these samples. I think you've got, honestly, you've got so have, much. She's got Clay de Poe, she's got Huda Beauty, she's got Armani, you've got Dior, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, oh, do you know what I did Clinique. look at with the Huda Beauty eyeshadows? Yeah, you've got so much eyeshadow. You've, honestly, she today actually, Mum, close your eyes. You've got really nice eyeshadow on. Usually, there's pinks, there's purples, there's greens, but all together. I like all the colours. Not individually. <laughs> They're just well, all the on. The problem is, I like all the colours. And I like colour. Yeah. And I do the whole caboodle. Mm -hmm. It Everything. doesn't matter. Yeah. It makes me feel happy when she I'm She came painting. in the other day to my house for a cup of tea and about half an hour... It, it, it was rain, but yeah, and about half an hour later she was like, oh, you need to see my eyeshadow. And I was like, I saw it as you walked in the door. <laughs> saw it from space. I had a rainbow dress on. Yeah. And so therefore... We had, had to match it. Yeah, lovely. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I need a stick. I don't know why I've got my... No, she's got the stick. Well, she's had two new hips in the last, like, 18 months and she needs a new knee. I do, yeah. I just thought Two I might. Knees, really. Well, I thought I might get tired, but I actually don't need it. No. Fine, but I am tired now. It's because we literally have been to every beauty counter, um, and we've got every sample of perfume. We have every sample of foundation. I just stink of every single perfume. No, we don't need Galan. No, no. We're done. I'm all makeup down. We're gonna go to the food. Oh, go and have one more. Oh, one more. Thank you. <laughs> Have you got a sample? Guys, I can't, I just can't. We're gonna go to the food hall. The Ritz was just incredible, but my gosh, I'm so full. But I can't come to Harrods and not go to the food hall. So that is next. Also, I'm so sorry that this camera is so zoomed in. I feel like I'm used to my other camera, which is so zoomed out, but we've got more. <laughs> Here she is in action. <laughs> More for the bag. I need to be lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> Have you felt how heavy this bag is? That's not heavy. You need to grow some muscles. Oh no, but for samples, it's like it's got some weight. <laughs> oh gosh, you don't need Caroline Herrera now. Look at. Oh wow. Yeah. 
I knew that would be a thing. Thank you. Have you got some? We need to get out now. We need to get out now. It's it's enough. It's enough. I just can't cope. So the update, there's three more shops to walk through until we get to the food hall and three more shops just keep this way and then to the right just so I can get to the end to the right yep no move move to the exit to the exit keep going literally no more mum keep going yeah put that in there Oh yeah, pop that in there, we've got to put some Celine now. <laughs> oh god, I can't. Thank you. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. I've just been following you round. Okay, we've made it. No more samples. No, oh, don't they do samples? What, the food? <laughs> do you think we need food? Guys, the other day I had the viral lunchbox which you get over at the rotisserie section. I've just done a TikTok on it actually. But they, I mean these here are £9, but this one over there is £12 for a hot like lunchbox. Incredible. Okay, and now this is my version of heaven. Yes. All the chocky. Okay, so Ladarak is actually one of my favourite chocolatiers and I was super lucky to actually do a little bit of a campaign with them over Easter. But this chocolate is the best chocolate literally ever. Just look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh, shock horror. What are we sampling now, Mum? <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> okay, so Mum's new obsession are the Lady Dior handbags. Oh, how much is something like that then? It's four point two. Four point two. Yeah. I'll get two. <laughs> how much is that? It's six thousand three hundred. Oh, but do you know you get makeup on that, wouldn't you? You can put the scarf on, like to wipe the lids of it. It's like it's such a like delicate piece. You can see for it. But you know what would happen? I'd go and get makeup on that, or somebody to fill a drink with it. We do this beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, we're back at the other house, and I'm hoping I don't get copyrighted for having the music on in the background. But we are in like an empty section just to get away from like the hustle and the bustle. And Mum treats Facebook like it's like a pen pal diary that she's got to update everybody with every single second of her life. And she's just zoomed in so closely and like turned the music right up on her phone so that everyone can hear the music and just the bottles and gone. Everyone, it's time to party. She's gonna have one drink, well, one sip of a drink, one. be totally wasted, go to bed and not be seen until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. But don't forget, guys, it's time to party. <laughs> the night is about to get quite messy. <laughs> so, guys, first pop tart tasting. I can't drink for toffee. So. I've got a Tommy's margarita. What have you got? I've got a banana daiquiri. Mm. Get up, girls and boys. So that you'll die at that. It tastes what? A bit strong. <laughs> it's disgusting. Disgusting. So tequila. Oh, give me back. That's lovely actually. Mm. I did. Put your mouth back. Make sure you find it strong. That's strong. So good. Cheers. Cheers, Happy holidays. Happy <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ching. Ching. Oh, okay. Per ching. Like Cheers, camera. everybody. Oh, Can't see it. Hang on. <laughs> A glass. Ooh. It's nice. Cool. Mm. Amazing. Too tired from all the lost sleep I've got from someone that snores all night long. <laughs> favourite things is a hotel breakfast and I like to pick at things so I've got a little bowl of fruit and some nuts, very compact and my favourite coconut yogurt ever which is always here at the other house, their coconut yogurt is incredible. Mum's just gone off to go and get hers and then I have ordered my usual order here which is the American pancakes and I go for the seasonal berries with the chantilly cream and then 
maple syrup on the side. And then mum has gone for this morning, which you'll see in a second, the eggs royale, but she's asked for it on sourdough and with apple on the side, which I might actually compete tomorrow morning, but I just, I can't ever be disloyal to my American pancakes. They are the best here ever. But yeah, this is my little starter. Honestly, <laughs> don't. I should be the last to know. Hello, everyone. Welcome to day two of the vlog. Mother is here. Tired. She's tired today. Very tired. Very tired. I would like to say it's the morning. It's three o'clock. Yeah, um, we are still full from lunch. Had a really big breakfast this morning at the other house. And we just came back upstairs. And you know when you're just really tired? I slept appallingly last night because my mum doesn't sleep very well and she's up and she's down and I'm a really light, I'm a very good sleeper once I'm asleep. If I'm woken up, I really struggle to get back to sleep. So I was in like a constant state of awake and sleep and awake and sleep. So I'm feeling exhausted. And then after breakfast, we just came back upstairs and we were just like, we just need to bed and just, we couldn't do move. nothing. We've eaten so much for breakfast. We can move, could we? No, but do scar, but do So yeah, we had a very sort of chilled out morning, slowly got ready, and then we are planning on going to a show this evening. We're going to go and see Wicked. And it was like half past one, and we were like, actually, do you know what? There's a 2.30 showing, let's do that, and then go for a nice meal this evening. And so we tried to get ready within the hour, and then by the time we were actually ready, it was 2.30, and we thought there's no way we're getting across London to the West End to watch that. So, Mum, can you do the window up? But well, I'm watching people getting in and out of Rolls Royces, that's what I, you know, chauffeurs, undoing doors. Yeah. I'm actually going to go and see Wicked this evening, which I'm so excited about because I've never seen it. It's been at the top of my bucket list and I actually want to see it before the film comes out as well. I feel like I need to experience the whole sort of Broadway West End performance before watching in December. Um, so that's what we're going to do this afternoon and then for the rest of the day we are currently in an uber and we are going to go and be tourists mum who doesn't come out very often wants to go and be a tourist today so what are we going to do tower of london i hope mm. that's what i want to do it's why, very good why, that, are you why is that tourist well that, if we get there that is Will you not get there well, i don't know well, that's where we're going yeah mm. I haven't there. been since you were about three. Yeah, but I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I don't think you remember it. But it is it's a tourist. I'm just saying it's a touristy thing. It is a it touristy is. thing. It is. Yes. I, I am a tourist in London. Yes, you are. I'm just saying. It's, it's very exciting. Wrong. I'm very excited about it. Can we tell she's tired today? We're a little bit sensitive. Why would we? <laughs> why would we not be uh, making um, it there? No, we are going to make it. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> if we make it there, well, we're in a taxi and we're on our way there. <laughs> So, I've never got to get in yet. Why would they not let you in? Well, if there's hundreds of queues or something like that, I can't queue for hours. Oh, okay. Hence anyway, the, reason, the plan yeah. was to go to the Tower of London, but for some reason we might not get there. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, but we've had a few. Out. We nearly went to a show at lunchtime instead of. Yeah, because you were doing your heated rollers for three hours. I was. Just, I came home. I it, came takes, home. It, it takes I, a long time I, to get the helmet. I head. come on my holiday. <laughs> you leave me. I'm stuck in the 80s and yes. that's where I'm staying. I've no intention of coming out. And if people don't want to look at me, they don't have to. Ooh. It doesn't upset me in the slightest. Oh, you're sensitive. I'm not sensitive, I'm just saying. And I, and yes, so we're going to the Tower of London, but if mm. the queues are horrendous, queuing is not really. Where do you want to go after that then? If my you... thing. Back to the hotel for a nap. Yes. <laughs> Back to sleep. What have we done today? We got in a taxi. Yeah. And, uh, got yeah. out of the taxi. Yeah, yesterday we had the most amazing lunch at the Ritz. That was incredible. It was and amazing. then we went, because I forgot my makeup, we then walked around Harrods asking for sea free samples of foundation. Yeah, everybody Which, saw that. We had quite a few yeah, samples. We had quite a few samples actually. Yeah. I told the same story to every person and ended up with sat one, I think about fifty quid's worth in a little pot and I couldn't find it anyway this morning. <laughs> I went to do my anyway it's there you go. Now, Makeup is on yeah, and everything is fine and yeah. Oh so we thought we'd go to a show but we were a bit slow. We were both slow today. So we didn't really make the show. No, so, but I wanted to go to Tower of London. Yeah. That's what I've always I wanted to go to London, to go to the Tower of London and to Buckingham go to Palace. the Ritz. Oh and the Ritz, yeah. In Buckingham Palace, but somebody said it wasn't very good, so yeah, I'm not bothered about Buckingham Palace. Yeah, yeah just, just, but the Tower of London is amazing because I've been before, mm. so I know that, and I'm looking forward to it. And Scarlett was a little tiny girl of about three, four, and I bought her and our au pair to come and have a look. And on the way home, there was a 
car on fire okay. on a roundabout and she refused to ever go to London ever again because she said London's on fire I'm not going again mm. so that upset her she didn't remember seeing the Tower of London at all but she just remembered the this fire. car being on fire and it mm. frightened because her so about time she went again I think yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. so that's what we're doing anyway <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd make a very good vlog. Half an hour later, we are going to the Tower of London, guys. I don't think I'd make a very good vlogger. Yeah. <laughs> no, we love it. Oh, do you? Yeah, we love it. Yeah, you love it. This yeah, channel's all about waffling. It's great. Waffle. Waffle. Don't waffle away. Oh, oh God, yeah. yeah. Um, are you hungry yet? Oh, I do think I should ever be hungry again. Though Scarlett couldn't believe it when we got back to our room last night. I was hungry. We were so oh, full. I was really after hungry. Race, like, so yeah, full. Yeah, See my new dress. I got it the new for a show. Oh, lovely. Pretty colour. Oh, just hello everybody. Pretty colour. New dress. You know, we got home last night and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so full. Mum's like, oh, I'm starving. I continued I to talk starving. about it for about an hour afterwards. Oh, it wasn't starving. I did just like to biscuit. Anyway, guys, we'll see you at the tower of London. Well everybody, nearly an hour later in the Uber. I'm oh, feeling a little bit classic actually, but we have made it, haven't we mother? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be even allowed. No, to be so I wanted to book tickets, just like I wanted to book tickets for the show, which I'm definitely gonna be doing in a second. And mum is just so convinced that she'll get a good deal on the door. <laughs> So we're not going to book early, just in case we get a good deal on the door. Um, well, it's now 4.30 and I think they actually shut at about 5 o'clock, so whether are actually going to be allowed to sort of go in and have it all for the 5 o'clock. Yeah, such a big difference. Um, so yeah, we will see if we are actually allowed in at the time. But, oh, you've been complimented. You're feeling good now? On your dress. Here she is, guys. Hi. Welcome to the match. For the first time all day, I'm actually feeling like not peckish, but like I could actually have like a little nibble of something. But let me turn you around. Let me show you what we're around. To be honest, I don't want to disappoint you. <laughs> oh, please don't. Oh. <laughs> don't you? Is it just the two of you? Yeah. 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 Do you have an hour left. Yeah. 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 I don't want to speak to you. I want to yeah. speak to you, but I'm going to get you everything. Are you really? Are you Oh, you can be your guest, oh, and I can oh, be my oh, guest. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on. She's a lady. Yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you, Sally. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you guys are legends. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. That's my sister. Yeah, you're there. Um, Someone said a grandchild the other day. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you guys just witnessed that. <laughs> but talk about a good deal on the door. <laughs> Got him for free. We've only got an hour to so sort of excuse me, come up with that thing. That's the way to do it. <laughs> um, so we've got an hour to walk around, but we've got an hour to walk around for free. So anyway, guys, let's go around let's the Tower go. of London. Yeah. <laughs> for free. For free, yeah. Wow. Here we are. so awful, is she? Oh, that so was just awful. a fluke, actually. <laughs> that was a bit of good luck. They nearly didn't let us in at all. <laughs> Oh, they're so lovely. Bell Tower. Where do we go? Where do you want to go then, Mum? Where do we go, young man? Where do we go? What do you think? First time we've ever been here. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, you can get a photo. Can you put that radio down? Thank you. Thank you. Did you. Do you remember all that? I wasn't listening. Up here. Okay. Five o'clock. Okay. And also, everybody, not that I've shown you my outfit of the day, but I'm still... You can take a video of me. I've got my outfit of the day. Hang on. We've got to be quite thick. So here she is. Is it on me? Am I allowed to turn it sideways or not? No, just like that. Girl in this outfit is looking beautiful. This dress is the gorgeous LK Bennett, which is a new one and I'm a little late to the description box. And my shoes, day two, walking around for quite a long time in my Holland Cooper wedges and still so comfortable, no blisters, nothing. Description box. Do you want to Gorgeous do dress. Day, mommy? Not really. Not really. Why not? For a show. And where's the handbag from? Fairfax. Oh, and where's the walking yeah. stick from? Don't know. Had it for years. It's one of those foldy up ones. And the shoes? shoes? 
Oh, lovely Market shoes. Market in Blamford. Oh, lovely. Very comfy. Love. Yeah. Looks like it wants to tip it down. It's been lucky. So at home, apparently, it's been tipping it down all day, but we've been quite lucky with the weather yeah. so far. But there's the bloody tower we've got going now after. No, what? Bloody tower. Is that where everybody got beheaded? Lovely. Got to go in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Goodness gracious, I'm getting my steps in. Ready for a coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Oh, look at her coming up the steps. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've written. This is actually very cool. Yeah, of course it is. Wow. Yeah, this is amazing. I thought you were only here with a little girl. I just don't think you were. Yeah. I think that was appreciative. Enough of it. Yeah. Didn't really. Yeah, I think we're going to be didn't think at the age of four I would fancy seeing where people got beheaded then. <laughs> well, so unsurprisingly, we weren't allowed to film in there, um, but it was amazing. Right? It was. Did you yeah. enjoy that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. We had to have like quite a quick walk through because obviously we've only got an hour here, and Mum wants to see everything that's available here. It's supposed to take four hours to walk around, and she's got. Five two minutes. new hips and, and needs a new knee and can't walk really so um we are a zipping round none of it slows me down <laughs> no she's still super quick um white yeah. tower down here is it oh, okay yeah let's go down there then what was it the white tower for someone that doesn't do a lot of touristy stuff it's really cool it is off to find the bloody tower where is that then there, yeah, keep that stick down <laughs> you don't look at people she like goes over there and forgets that there's people around here I just can't see like a long tower. Do you know what I mean? Like I'd have thought it would have been super high. We found it. I'll go this way. The zoomies have slowed down. I've got hot. There's quite a narrow staircase for us to go up. <laughs> What door? Let's well, like get down the steps. Come on. Let's go into here. It's warm in here, actually. Oh, this is the princes in the. This is the princes in the tower. And now into the actual Tower of London. Mum's got more steps to, to try and get up. At least they're normal steps with a handle. They were steps very were tight. They, yeah, they were very tight. She's reading all of the information under every single thing. Well, we've walked around the Tower of London and it's all now shut and the two people that really aren't very hungry have come straight to the crap stand because neither one of us can ever say no to a crap. So here we are. <laughs> this is our view. Mum was like, oh, we'll definitely get the tube, but I just don't think you'd manage a tube today. No. She's never done the tube. I can't imagine her enjoying the tube. And I have. I don't think you have. I have. You asked Janet. Janet and I In what year? Tube. Like 1812. <laughs> it's like raining. It's raining now, Mum. Oh. Um, <laughs> So we're in an Uber and we're on our way to the Apollo Theatre to watch Wicked and we've actually booked our tickets and I'm very, very, very excited. Um, yeah, so that's where we're up to next. Hello everybody, I'm tired now. 
she's tired. Yeah, I'll sleep tonight. We had a, yeah, I bloody hope she does. I've never slept next to somebody <laughs> so annoying to sleep next to. I am annoying. In my life. She must have got up 20 times to go for a wee. She then, when she gets back into bed, she's like an earthquake. She's got to like <laughs> jump and move. And then she was apparently it's scared of falling off of the bed. So hence why she was over my side. Yeah. Snoring. I had to make sure I was in the middle of the bed. Which you, you were right over your side. It didn't well, bloody had to be. <laughs> didn't matter. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're up to see Wicked. I'm so excited. I love going to the theatre. Mum's not really a musical person, but you love The Wizard of Oz, right? Yeah, the first time. Yeah, I like anything the first time. I'm not very good at watching yes, so things over and Mom, over. This is, we're, this is why we're oh, so God. different. A lot of these oh, things. Let me get it. Oh, when they've been done uh, for a lot of like the generation that I'm in now. We have like comfort shows, so I've watched like full TV series like ten times over because I know what's going to happen. I can't come doing with anything like that. Yeah, so I, you can do I that. like I like the area so of I, suspense. No, so I like watching things over and over again. Like Friends, for example, I've watched about twenty times. Oh, no. Gilmore Girls, I've watched about a hundred times. Gossip Girl, whereas that wouldn't be. What your could I watch over and over again that I've watched? More? Downton Abbey, you've watched a few times. Oh, Downton Abbey. So that's like a comfort Gosford show. Gosford Park. Let's, like, like you know what's going to happen. You can pop it on, sit on your phone, and yes, yeah, but like, it's you know brilliantly I mean? acted and brilliantly done. So it's Gossip Girl. I <laughs> wouldn't want to watch it the first time, and it never <laughs> second. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we're doing, guys. We're on our way to the theatre. I do um, have a level of intelligence, actually, and I like my brain to be quite. So does everybody that enjoys Gossip Girl. Anyway, and you have no idea what Gossip Girl is. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, we are off to see Wicked, and we'll check in with you afterwards and give you a review of what we thought. I'm so excited. <laughs> years I booked the years, yes. same difference I booked the uber oh, and the uber oh. was on its way and she said well let's be adventurous let's get the let's get the tube we, we, nearly, we nearly lost the whole thing other. was gone it's it's whole she said to me to get down the escalator they're so fast she said, you better be quick when well, I took one look at it and I can go on an escalator if you hold either side and then get on it but it was doing the zoomies so I knew that there was no way I was going to do that so I stopped she went then I asked the lady, where do I go? So she took me to the lift. We lost each other in the we tube with no Wi-Fi, no signal. No, lost each other in the tube. And then, then Scarlett says to me, when the train, you know, before the, you're going to need to be very quick because the train will go with you still in it. Just to so, keep, she can't obviously not tell a story. This is once we're on the train and about to get off at our stop. So I go to get up, off the train, and I stood up before the train had stopped, when the train <laughs> stopped. I end up sat in the lady next door's lap. <laughs> Poor woman, I ended up oh, sat on. It was the funniest thing ever. It was hysterical. It was hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. We're, we're back. Yes, we've switched things up a little bit this morning. I have a bit of a breakfast feast for someone that's not super hungry. And this is mum. She's gone for the full English over there. Absolutely blooming delicious. Good morning, everybody. Final day in London. Mum is here. And we're in this beautiful coffee shop, which is just around the corner from our gorgeous hotel. It's absolutely beautiful in here. I'm just on my phone today because everything else is packed and it's storage at the hotel until we come back for our train a little bit later. But it's just so beautiful. And we don't really know what we're going to do this morning. I think we are going to have our coffees. We've had breakfast, haven't we, at the other house, which is delicious. Um, and I think we're going to have a walk up to the Victoria and Albert Museum, which again is just around the corner from where we're staying. And they've got the Taylor Swift um, thingy blobby going on as well, which I really wanted to see as well. So I'm super excited. So I don't know whether mum's going to want to come and see that, but she can go off in one direction if so, and I can go off in the other. But we're going to have a lovely last morning in London before our train at three o'clock. Well, we've made it. 
Mum's feeling a bit tired. <laughs> she doesn't want to return around today. Her idea was to walk and she's regretting that within an instant. But, um, and nor does she want to get back on the tube, so... <laughs> and I hope you guys adored coming to London with us. It's been an adventure from start to finish. I feel absolutely deflated, exhausted. My social batteries are totally gone. I always feel like I'm quite an energetic person to be around. My mum is just like, she's, I love her so much. She is just on a different level. She does not stop from the second she wakes up to the second she goes to bed. And I just feel like, like the house other than having the doggies I've just all, other than having the doggies at home which I've just picked up from their little holiday I just feel like coming home to just some peace and quiet is actually very nice I just I'm gonna have a I'm about to run a nice bath wash my hair which is in desperate need of washing and just have a very chilled out evening with a nice cup of tea however I promised you guys a luxury unboxing that is what we're going to do so I have it next to me I'm very excited it's something that's been on my wish list for a very long time but I was never going to justify the price of it, seeming as I think when you buy something this beautiful new, you're terrified of using it, you're terrified of injuring it, hurting it, um, aging it, all of those kinds of things, because it's such a beautiful thing, but also such an expensive thing. And although I don't necessarily believe in keeping things for best, because I think, I've definitely got something in my eye, it's great, uh, because I think every day should be used for best. When you're spending a lot of money on items, that opinion does tend to change. So. What have I done? What have I bought? Well, the brand that I've been buying from is Louis Vuitton, and I have bought two items from Louis Vuitton, but I bought vintage Louis Vuitton, and personally as well, and I know this is down to personal taste completely, but I actually prefer the vintage looked ones to what I do a lot of the newer ones. And I've purchased both items for the very first time actually using Vestiaire Collective. I think that's how you say it. Vestiaire? 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 I'm not an ad either by the way. I have purchased obviously both completely myself. However, your first app order as well, you get 15% off if you use the discount code WELCOME15. Again, not an ad, that is, this is just what I found whilst using the app. So not only am I helping my pockets, I'm helping the environment by reusing luxury goods. And I'm giving bags that were no longer wanted new leases of life and because I travel so much through work through life even, even just going out on a boat on a day which I do quite regularly in the summer I'm always using duffel bags and I'm always finding that I just want something that's special and this is such a special few purchases for me because these are purchases that I'm gonna have in my life forever both bags are from the 90s they are in pristine well I actually haven't opened the second one yet but the first one pristine condition so if we begin with bag number one I haven't unboxed this one with you because I took her on this trip and also my gorgeous bestie Nat got me <laughs> and her husband matchy little jelly cat tennis balls for, um, well I'm not sure when he got his but I got mine before our trip to Bobby Castle. She's just the kindest person in the whole entire world and she got me many her other gift as well which she really shouldn't have but whenever I go anywhere she travels with me now so that's why I've got this little cutesy tennis ball on my bag. Um, but I unboxed this before going because I really wanted to take this with me and this is absolutely full by the way because I haven't unpacked, I just walked through the door. But this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 and when I say, and when I say that this is in perfect condition, everything you buy off of Vestiaire Collective, Vestiaire? I, I'm pretty sure it's Vestiaire. Vestiaire? Whichever and whatever. Everything is 100% 
authenticated and you can also pay an extra £15 per item and it will get shipped to the company itself and they will personally check them as well otherwise everything goes through like major online checks first so you're buying with total total security I'm trying to think of a word to use in that sentence I'm so tired um, but yeah you've got total security and total uh, god my brain um, total you have total trust and total security in that what you're buying is a hundred percent authentic and authentic to the brand. This one in particular, I paid just under £240 for. So you can really get some incredible, incredible bargains. Another fun fact is they've recently discontinued the size of the 35 as well in the Speedy, but I just love the look of the more vintagey ones. I just think they look really cool. It looks like I've been handed this down and or it looks like I've really given it a great life beforehand. I just feel like they scream old money, they scream super, super timeless, and it's something that I can hand down, you know, through the generations to my family as well, so long as I look after it. But even regardless of all of that, it was £240, which I know obviously isn't like a cheap handbag by any means. I can use this as a day bag, I can use this as a travel bag. And because I wasn't spending thousands of pounds on a brand new version, I will use this. I will love this and I will look after it, but I will use it. And I am going to get my price for wear. I have absolutely adored the last 72 hours taking this round with me. I think it looks so cool and I'm just so impressed. The only thing that this one has wrong with it is the leather, um, the leather like pulley thing basically on the zip here has come off but I have that with me I just need to take it to like a leather specialist person um and get it repopped on if I want to but it doesn't affect the zip in any way it just you know hasn't got the leather like tag on it which I've got anyway in my possession but other than that I have the perfect handbag and it's for me it's the perfect size I've got small handbags I've got medium sized handbags sometimes it's nice having a big bag that you can double up as a bit of a duffel you can obviously take a jump around with you all day you can pop a pair of like comfy shoes in if you're going out and around or day to night or whichever and whatever I needed a bag that size, I needed a bag that was like a TARDIS like that, and I wanted one of those for such a long time, and it was one thing that I was just like, I just can't justify it, because I just know I won't use it enough because of how much I'm going to love it, whereas £240, it may even have been less than that, because also you can negotiate a price, so if someone's got something advertised, let's say for £500, you could offer them £400, and, and you can negotiate in between, and then take your 15% off on top, also as well, if you're buying from a direct buyer I think you can actually return the items to um, otherwise you've got 72 hours to decide if you like the item or not and or you can resell it on Vestia Collective for free within 72 hours of it arriving so you're pretty secure in everything that you're buying which I love as well I've never bought anything from them before and I bought this one first hence why I've used this first because it arrived first and then and then this one has arrived I haven't undone it I've got my scissors here very excited this is the daddy the daddy of this and i'm buzzing about this the description the lady had put on of this bag made me fall in love with this bag she has used this bag three times and it hasn't been used since the early 2000s because she loved it so much she didn't really want to use it but thought to herself it's been sat doing nothing for so many years it needs loving it needs using and I popped my offer in and she took a few days to get back to me. It turns out she was just on holiday, but I sent such a lovely message back saying I promise to use and love this bag. And she agreed my negotiated price. And ladies and gentlemen, inside here, I now have Louis Vuitton luggage. I literally feel like a kid at Christmas because for years I have wanted Louis Vuitton luggage and have just never thought about buying second hand, ever. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's a note as well. Oh, don't. Just a note. Hi, Scott. This is so cute. Hi Scarlett, I'm so happy to be selling my bag to you. It was hard to sell, but I just don't use it. She deserves a second lifetime with you. Enjoy, Joe. Guys, I got a card. This is the cutest thing literally ever. Oh my goodness me. I need to sort of hang on. I do need to shape her up a little bit because she's obviously just been packaged. She's feeling a little bit flat, but everybody, I have a Louis Vuitton duffel bag. I've got the key pull. I'm pretty sure this is the 45 in which, to be fair, next to this sort of kind of makes sense. Um, 
she is perfect totally totally perfect it's got the tag on here which is perfect everything about this bag is just sheer perfection there's not i don't think there's a single mark on it like there's not even any like signs of wear there's just it's just pure perfection it even smells like it's never been used like it still smells of fresh leather um I feel like you can't see very well there. I am so happy. I could scream. I literally feel like a child at Christmas. Um, let's pop you up over here so you can see me stood with it. Use the lighting. I've literally come back to winter outside. It's been lovely in London and I've just come back to like gale force winds and rain. But oh God, I know it's obviously not going to be so light when I've got all of my blooming stuff in it. She is absolutely beautiful and just like perfect. Also, this is this is gonna fit so much stuff in this. I am so excited. So catch me with baby and baby mama and um, daddy and mummy or whatever I've just called them both. But like I am, <laughs> I'm sorted. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this because this is the perfect size for a daytime bag. I was kind of skeptical when I first bought this because I thought to myself it might be too big to use as an actual handbag. Um, but I think any smaller, and I actually wouldn't fit as much as what I probably wanted in. I think the 35 is actually like a perfect size bag for that sort of daytime vibe that we all need. And then for travel and overnight stays, things like that, this is just, oh my gosh. I don't know, I just hit my boobie. <laughs> I'm going to be using this so much i'm honestly at the moment i'm away more times than i'm at home which is really not like me but but life is just busy at the moment and obviously it's wonderful but i'm away a lot and this is going to be coming home coming home coming everywhere not home well and home but um it's just going to be coming everywhere with me and i'm just i'm so happy i have also ordered another jenny cat to go onto this one and i've ordered that one as well just to say a massive thank you so that she can have a piece of me everywhere she goes as well on her bag um but anyway guys let me pop you in a nicer lighting position because i know that that is terribly dreadful i'm gonna go and run a nice bath and i'm going to chill out for the evening before waking up early tomorrow morning to edit this video ahead of sunday but i really genuinely hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i hope you loved coming along with my mum if you're new here or more recent here and haven't met my mum before i hope you enjoyed having her on the channel and i'm sure if you guys did love having her on there you can definitely make more regular appearances i hope you guys love this video don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy it and i will see you guys next sunday i've got a very busy week next week like my diary is making me feel physically sick um however then hopefully i'll be bringing you along to everything that i'm up to so it might be quite a jam-packed vlog next week but i hope you will love this one and i will see you all very soon have the best weekend